about it. Here we go. All righty. We're coming back yeah, at five, you with another match here. Monday here. We got the finals of the Pro-Am from the Shark Tank 2022. Last week, I uploaded the semifinals, so make sure you go back and check that out if you haven't watched that yet. And here we got me and Dustin against Chris Lim and Michael Lim. They are brothers uh, and sons of the legendary Paul Lim. And we had played them earlier. I think it was like our second match. And we put them in the loser side. And they fought all the way back and really turned up big. And when we played against them the first time, you know, it was still pretty early in the day. And they definitely didn't throw their normal darts in that match. So going into this one, we knew it was going to be a battle because, you know, obviously they were kicking really good butt in the loser side to fight back. So we knew that they were going to come out swinging in this match. So uh, once again, this is a stream brought to you by USA Darts. So thank you to USA Darts for streaming this, allowing me to make videos like this. If you guys do not follow USA Darts, I don't know what to say anymore. You guys are missing out on so much good darts content. So Check out USA Darts on Facebook and YouTube. What they're doing for the darts uh, over there is just absolutely incredible. So make sure you go support them. And this is best of three. First game is 5 full one Open and open out full bullseye. So the whole bowl is worth 50. And then it's cricket game two. Loser starts. And then uh, we diddle for the third game. And winner of the diddle either chooses to go first or you get to pick the game. So we're coming out here. Dustin started with that hat trick. Uh, no, yeah, Dustin started with the hat trick. Chris followed it with the hat trick. I followed it with two misses at the bowl. <laughs> uh, I forgot what uh, Michael got. I think he kind of did a similar thing. He let us off the hook there, and now Dustin's missing too. So we're off to a little bit of a slow start here after. Well, let me rephrase. Chris is not starting slow because he's about to go hat trick, hat trick here. Uh, so now they're in good position because they're going to get at least six darts at this 98. I'm sorry, at least uh, they, they're going to get a look at the 98 because I cannot take out 205 here. And also, welcome back to Bullshot Darts, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. So 153, I take a step back here because 50, we're still going to be in the hundreds. If I go trip 20, I can get us under 100 for a two dart out. But I'm pretty sure Dustin said behind me, gold bull. So... Dustin, if he tells me to go bowl, I'm throwing at the bowl. <laughs> so the difference is, is now 103 is going to be a bowl single bowl out. So it's a three dart out versus a 93, which would be a two dart out. But it would be a triple double as opposed to getting the bullseye involved. So one of those things I'm not too familiar with my soft tip math yet. Michael really lets us off the hook there. He missed the trip 16, had to look at the double and missed. Me and Dustin were probably sitting back there like, all right, well, we we better turn up game two. If you guys didn't watch the semifinals, I was talking about how me and Dustin would come out good in 5-0 and win, and then we would really stink it up in cricket. Uh, so that would have been interesting if they won that 5-0, because I'm pretty sure we won every 5-0 game in this, so we never got to start that second game of cricket, and we lost that second game of cricket almost every single time. So Dustin got that big one. Oh, what's happening here? Uh, Dustin got that big 103 out. And now here we are, go going into cricket. And of course, going into it, we're going to try our hardest and try to win. But this whole event, we always kept losing this game too. So really, it's kind of not that much pressure going into it because we just kind of... I don't want to say we assumed we were going to lose because obviously we're going to try our hardest to win. But at the same time, since we've lost so much going in, it was just kind of like, hey, if we lose it, what's new? This has basically been, you know, happening all event. And Dustin would win the cork, and then we would get to start the third game of cricket. And that's where we really uh, shined there was that third game of cricket. So Dustin opted to go the 18s instead of the 19s with his throw. Maybe he wasn't feeling comfortable on the 19s. Maybe he just wanted to stay on the upper half of the board. I'm not too sure, but... You know, I like doing that sometimes. I'll throw at numbers out of order. One, for comfort reasons. But two, it also gets the other team thinking. Because now it's like, okay, 19s are open. They have 18s closed. We got 20s. Do I want to try to close those 19s and get a big advantage here? Or do I stay on the 20s and score? Uh, Chris says, nope, we're going to shut down those 18s. And then he tried to go down to those 19s, but... 
missed it, so went back up to those trips up there. He always reps his bull shot t-shirt. So uh, what is Dustin? Dustin with the big seven mark. Now here we go. This is kind of where the point battle starts. You know, soft tip cricket versus steel tip cricket. Generally, the strategies are going to be different. You can play the same strategy, but just generally speaking. So now we're in one of these positions where they're going to be scoring on those 20s. We're going to be scoring on those 19s. How many points do you need to feel comfortable enough to take a look at that other team's number to try to close it to give you that position? So, oh, we got a little side view here. Uh, I think they were talking about my darts throw, and that's why they went to the side view. But it's ridiculous. All right, finally, I'm finding some trips here. I'm having that straight dart, though. I Honestly, I didn't feel that comfortable in this event. I'm not going to lie. I felt a little nervous shooting with Dustin uh, because Dustin's such a great player and I've wanted to shoot with him so bad and sometimes when you shoot with that kind of player it's like I don't want to let them down I want to prove that like I can throw decent darts and I think that started getting to me there a little bit coming down to the finals here and Chris with a huge nine mark that really puts him in the driving position if Dustin can get a trip here that puts us Oh, I can't do math. That's why I don't teach math. I teach PE, not math. For that reason, because for some reason I thought a triple was going to give us a point lead, but they still got that point lead on us. And me coming up, I'm like, all right, I hope he doesn't go. Well, now he might go to those 17s. No, so he stayed on the 20s. So I honestly think that me and Michael here are shooting the same game. It's kind of like me versus Michael and Dustin versus Chris because I'm in, I'm in a position now where I just need to point, point, point. Uh, I don't feel comfortable going for that back close, so I'm going to stay on the 17s the whole time, kind of like Michael just stayed on those 20s. Now, Chris is coming up. I bet you he's probably going to try to get some points, but he's going to take a look at that trip 17. Looks like he's looking at it right now. He's been hitting the trips good, so he's feeling comfortable enough to do that. And now he stays up on those 20s and really punishes us there. Oh yeah. Uh, Dustin needs a nine mark here to give us a point lead, which he's more than capable of. But missed the first start and got two singles. I, Dustin probably turned around and made a joke about the game two situation because if you didn't watch my semifinals video, that was a running joke for us the whole day was this whole game two situation. Uh, so now since Chris got that big point lead, Michael's like, all right, like I can go on those 16s. But he missed that second dart, so he's going to have to trip it here. If not, I could get some good 16s. But if he goes up and points those 20s, even a nine mark on the 16s wouldn't be enough. But he only gets a single, but I still need... A ton of 16s. And like I said, I one, I wasn't feeling that comfortable at this point in the night. And two, uh, just the darts haven't been flowing that good. So, And also being the whole game two situation was 100% in my head. And there again, like, I keep having that one dart that is useless. And I that's one of my biggest struggles. And I need to figure out why that is. I definitely think it's more of a mental thing, but... I get in these situations where I'll hit a lot of triples, but when I miss, I'm hitting numbers. I'm hitting the neighbors. And in cricket, neighbors don't count for anything. <laughs> in 501, at least if I hit a 5 or a 1, I'm still going to get some points for it. But uh, in cricket, they're they're useless. So Dustin, you know, getting us back in. There were only 40 points down. 20s versus 15s. It looks like Michael's aiming up, and I would not be surprised if he stays on the 20 all three. Oh, oh, look at that. He went down. Nice. That was a big triple for him. Because like I said, I felt like me and Michael were shooting similar darts where our job was to get those points, and our partners were the ones doing the back closing. But that was a really big, uh, Really big switch by Michael there. So I'm sure that really helped out his confidence uh, going into this third leg, which will be the uh, sudden death leg. Oh, 
And at the end there, I just decided to look up even a double bowl. You know, I, we, we're just assuming Chris is going to go up and hit three bowls here. I mean, it doesn't have his average specifically down there, but I would imagine he was in the sixes with how he was throwing. So I was like, well, I might as well just throw with those 20s because I might be throwing at them a lot the next game. So I might as well just get one dart up there to look at it. You know, I do that sometimes in cricket uh, where I basically know I'm going to lose. So I will shoot at numbers to get ready for the next uh, game <coughs> uh, just to get comfortable throwing at those numbers. So once again, this has been our MO the whole night. Win 5-0, lose game two cricket, and then Dustin wins the cork. So we always choose to go first. And they choose cricket. I think Chris was joking around. I think he loaded up 501. I think he loaded up 501. He's like, oh. Or no, I, I don't know. They're just making jokes up there, just messing around though. <laughs> Excuse me. So here we go. Uh, game three, winner of this wins the pro am finals. Uh, Chris really tearing up. Wait, now I'm confused. Oh, maybe. Lim oh, I'm getting. Stuff up. I didn't see the cork. I completely missed the cork. Did Chris Lim win the cork? I would think you would have to because usually if you win the cork, you just choose to go first. Oh, so that's what happened. So Chris Lim won the cork. I thought Dustin won the cork, but Chris won the cork. And then uh, he started loading up 501, joking around because going first in 50 is a huge advantage. So I think that's what they were joking around up there. So yeah, Chris won the cork. They chose to go first. We chose cricket. I got really confused there. So I take back what I said about Dustin winning every third game cork. <laughs> I thought he did, but Chris got it. So, But Chris let us off the hook there. He went at those 20s. I think he only got four of them, which how he was throwing last game, we were kind of assuming like they're probably going to close and score at least 80, but only scoring and getting 20. That opened up for Dustin to get that 7 mark, which gave us a good lead. And it looked like Michael only got 120 there. So now I'm talking to Dustin. I'm like, hey, do I go 19s, get some points first? Should I attack the 20s? And I think he said, just do what's comfortable for you. And like I said, since I'm feeling uncomfortable here, I don't feel comfortable going for hero darts. So I'm going to score on some 19s here. I think this is... You know, this this is where the, the games get really, you know, scrappy. And I want insurance on this game. And I just did not feel too comfortable going up to those 20s. So just wanted to score on those 19s. So even if Chris gets another trip here, it's going to give them, the, give them the point lead. But had I went up to those 20s and didn't close them, which very well could have happened with how I was throwing... <laughs> Having those point lead was much more, or getting the points was much more important. And now me coming up, I'm thinking, man, if Dustin gets at least one trip with these first two darts, he's going to go up and close those 20s. So trip. Yep, he went up with the second. Does he stay up? Looks like he's staying up there. And once again, I know my role in this game. I know that I'm here to support Dustin. I need to get points so Dustin can get those back closes because he is hitting those big trips way more than I am. And I don't even feel comfortable going for those darts. Uh, it's really important to know your role in doubles cricket because if you start throwing weird darts, it, now your partner's going to have to change their role. So I don't want to take Dustin out of what he's doing. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, which... Honestly, here I think I would go up. It looks like I'm looking down. Here, I, now I'm gonna look up. Looking back on this, I wish I would have went 20 my first start and then go down to the 19s. <laughs> but that's how uncomfortable I felt. I didn't even feel too comfortable getting a single 20. So that's why I wanted at least a trip 19 <clears throat> to get some points there. So yeah, Chris needs, what, at least seven 18s here to get a point lead. Oh, he went, went down to those 17s. See, and that's another reason I like getting points, because they both know that I'm going to get points. 
So Chris is third dart there. He's like, all right, I know they're going to try to get points, especially Nick, because Nick is not throwing well, so he's going to keep getting points. So I'm going to try to close it, whereas if I wasn't scoring on it, he probably doesn't throw that dart, potentially gets another trip 17, and we're very close points-wise again. So once again, just one of those the strategy parts of the game. <clears throat> And then Dustin went there. He got a trip 19 and closed the 17s with some big darts. And now Michael went up there with some big darts on those 18s. Where do you get five of them? So big darts by Michael. Nick is really scanning that game. Now, once again, I don't feel comfortable. Even though we got, what, 68-point lead here? Hey, so I went for the close, and I can't believe I got it. So now I'm definitely going back to those 19s. <laughs> Hey, I got, well, all right, so seven mark, that's probably my best throw this whole match. I don't remember what happens the rest of the way. There is one more shot that I remember coming up. Make sure Dustin has a good chance. But, uh, yeah, once again, just wanting to make sure we're staying comfortable on those points because Chris shot amazing that first leg, and then Michael started turning up really big at the end of that leg and is throwing really well this leg. So we just want to make sure we... We're holding on to that big point lead so we feel comfortable. Because right now, yeah, it's the it the game isn't won by us yet. You know, games like cricket aren't over until it's really over. So I we don't have much pressure on us because we're just like, all right, just keep the point lead and back close. Whereas they're like, shoot, I have to destroy these numbers. So just kind of one of those cricket strays. So he, as you can see, Michael is just turning up huge right now. I feel like he's gotten at least one trip. I mean, he's got two on this. I think one trip every round the last however many rounds. And he decided to stay on him. But if that was Chris up, I think Chris might have did what he did earlier and go to those 19s and try to close him because that would reverse the pressure onto us. It's like, yeah, we got a little bit of a point lead. But now what do we do? Do I try to close the 16s or do I go 15s to have a number? Oh, wow. And now me and Dustin both have a turn without a triple. Dustin got a one mark his last throw. I only get a three mark. Michael got, what, seven in the middle there. So Lim comes up with a big opportunity to take control of this game. Only two on the first two darts. See, and there he goes. They're down on points, but he's like, hey, I'm sick of these 19s. I would rather have a lower point lead and get rid of those 19s. So here comes Dustin. Single, single, and he found his first trip in, what, six starts? And that was a huge one because it closed the 16s. But now Michael, who's on fire, has a really good chance to fill these 15s up. Which would put them in commanding exactly. position. And there's half 45 points gives them a one point lead on us. So all he needs is one more trip. And it's going to give them advantage here. So me and Dustin are like anything but a triple. Anything but a triple. <laughs> and he nails it. He, gosh, man, Michael. I don't remember it at the time, but I was trying to stay in my own zone. But Michael, gosh, he is turning up really big in this leg. And Chris is having huge darts, too. That means four bulls. Yeah. All right, so what are we at here? How about Dustin? So I have an opportunity. Four bulls and then a 15. Double bull. Double bull. I need a single 15 for the win. Just need a fat 15. Hold on, hold on. We just blew Will's hat off. And I miss it. <laughs> That is the oh, shot I was referencing earlier. Word. Two double bulls to take the point lead, and all I need is a single 15 to win the game in what would have been an awesome finish to the game. Uh, I had to take a step back because my dart bounced out. I didn't know if I had a single bull or double bull my first dart because it bounced out. Now, Chris takes a point lead. If he looks at those bullseyes, he has game darts right now. So we're all wondering, like, is he going to throw at the bullseyes, go for the win? Is he going to stay on those 15s to try to get a big point lead and hope Dustin misses bullseyes? This is where the game gets interesting. But So I took a step back, and that threw me off my rhythm. But I had to take a step back because I didn't know if I actually had the two bullseyes. So 
uh, Will, the commentator, was giving me some slack after the match because he's like, why are you taking a step back? Just throw the dart. And I'm like, hey, I would have, but I didn't know if I had the game dart in my hand. <laughs> I didn't know if I had the point lead. So Chris let us off the hook there. He hit the single 15, decided to stay on the 15s to get some points. And his second dart missed high, which was a blocker because his third dart came in on top and just played it out of the way. So that gave Dustin the opportunity to just need one bullseye, 115 for the win. And Dustin is not missing that shot. So, All right, that's it, guys. Uh, the finals, Pro-Am from the Shark Tank. Me and Dustin got the win there. What a fun match. That was awesome. Uh, looking back, I haven't watched this. I watched it when it, we first played it. And, of course, why well, I played in it. But I didn't really remember too much of it because this tournament was like two months ago. And what an exciting darts match. I still think about missing that single 15. That's That ate me up for weeks uh, after this tournament. But yeah, we got the win, so I'll take it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Some videos should have popped up. Check them out. BullshotDarts.com. Grab your new favorite dart shirt. Also, make sure to check out USA Darts. Uh, they're doing incredible things over there. Make sure you go support them. That's it, guys. We got some more match Mondays coming up from this tournament in the next few Mondays. So I will see you all next week for the 501 singles. All right, guys. Shoot well.